Good afternoon. Welcome to Inside Indiana Sports Now for Sunday, March 28th, 2021. We're brought to you by the great people of today's dentistry. Dr. Mike O'Neill, the best that there is. Give him a call, 317-849-2933. We don't do Sunday videos very often, but it looks like Indiana has a new basketball coach, Mike Woodson. NBA coach, NBA player, hasn't done anything in college since he was a collegiate player at Indiana in 1980. Mike Woodson, at the age of 63, is in negotiations to become Indiana's head coach, and here's why I love it. Because it's not the same old thing. The same old thing didn't work. Hiring Kelvin Sampson, hiring Tom Crean, hiring Archie Miller. You were hiring guys who fit elsewhere to come into your program and produce similar results. And it never, ever happened. Nothing happened that felt right at all, did it? The ill fit was palpable from moment one with Kelvin Sampson to the last moment of Archie Miller. It just never felt like Indiana basketball to me. What they did in the past is they vetted external candidates who were fit where they were, had put together terrific resumes, and as a result, looked to be kind of the low-hanging fruit, the apple on the tree that was going to say, yes, I've always wanted to be the head coach at a place like Indiana, a blue blood, and so here I come. Now, what Indiana did is they looked from within. They looked in their own family, and they went out and got a guy who has been a high-quality head coach in the NBA, most recently an assistant coach for the Knicks. He's still an assistant coach for the Knicks, and he's going to come into Indiana. There are questions, sure. Can he recruit? Is he going to want to recruit? How's he going to deal with 18 to 22-year-olds? Although in the NBA, that's what you do anyway, right? You're, you're dealing every single day with guys who would be sophomores in college, if not for their unbelievable talent, driving them to early paydays within the NBA. So I dig this. I think it's terrific. I think it's good. I know we're not supposed to think about race, supposed to be post-racial. I love that they hired a black guy into this position. I love that they hired a guy from the city of Indianapolis into this position, a graduate of Broad Ripple High School. I love that they hired a graduate of Indiana University who has tethers all the way back to IU that predate their fourth championship in 1981. He was a terrific basketball player. He's been a terrific basketball coach. I really, for so many years, Indiana was really afraid to embrace its own culture. Now, Indiana is doing exactly that with Mike Woodson. I think it's a great move by Scott Dolson. If only, like I said, that it's different from the other moves, right? It's not Archie Miller. Uh, Porter Mosier would have been Archie Miller. I know they're different guys. I know that perhaps they would achieve different results, you know, but what it is, it's the same kind of hire. Porter gets hot. He went to a Final Four a few years ago. This year, they go to the Sweet 16. All of a sudden, he's that shiny apple right? He's that guy. Hey, we got to get him. He's getting great results at Loyola. That's not how you do things at a place like Indiana. You go out and get somebody who represents the culture of your program, at least the last time it was successful. And we got to go back, what, th- almost 30 years to the last time Indiana was really successful a- as a cultural force in college basketball. I feel bad for a guy like Dane Fife. I feel bad for a guy like Michael Lewis, who both deserved consideration. But I'm thrilled for Mike Woodson, and I'm thrilled for Indiana University because here's a guy who knows how to get kids from here to there. He knows uh, the streets of Indianapolis and Indiana. He's going to be able to compel people to come to Indiana. He knows how the NBA works. He's going to be a guy who from within and at the top of the pyramid within the Indiana basketball power structure, he's going to be able to communicate with kids about, hey, here's how you do it. And if you don't do things this way here, you're never going to be able to do things that way there. I love this, right? At least it's not what we've been, it's not a path we've taken before. That was the one thing that I didn't want to have happen with this search. Take the road less traveled. Please, Scott Dolson, and it looks like he's done exactly that. Jeff Zello. Sham Sharania, John Solomon, all these guys reporting 
that a deal is being crafted and its approval and signing by Mike Woodson is imminent. And hopefully that's exactly what happens. It'll be interesting to see how many guys uh, on the team who have entered the transfer portal are going to repledge their support to Indiana University. I would assume all of them, if not most of them, are going to say, you know what, we're in behind Mike Woodson. And if not, you go out and get guys who are in. It'll be interesting to see what kind of staff Mike Woodson puts together. I, I love this. This is, there were a lot of good ways to go and a lot of bad ways to go. A whole lot of bad ways to go. And public pressure would have driven, I think, a weaker athletic director to make one of the wrong path choices, like a Porter Mosher, right? Nothing against Porter. Wonderful coach. Perfect fit for Loyola. If I had to hire today a coach for Loyola, I hire Porter Mosher, right? But you look at those guys who have Andy Enfield, I saw on a list. What are we talking about here? Honest to God, you may as well hire Will Wade, right? For God's sake. Uh, Beeline they would have been different, but it would have been the same on some level in that you've got to go, we got to go out there and get the guy to lead our program. No, let's not do that. Let's stick within the family and hire somebody. And 63, there are going to be people who say too old. It's not too old. It's not at all too old. Jim Beheim, 76 damn years old. Are you kidding me? It's not too old. Good for Indiana. Good for Scott Dolson. Good for Mike Woodson. Good for the players at Indiana. Good for the future players at Indiana. Finally, Indiana feels like it's coming home. It's coming back to what it should have been. Indiana should be coached by an Indiana guy. And finally, we got an Indiana guy to lead Indiana basketball. I don't know whether this is going to work out, but at least it's different from what it was, and you got to feel great about that. Tomorrow morning, more about this breakfast with Kent bright and early, 6 o'clock on Facebook Live, immediately thereafter on YouTube. Cannot wait to talk to you then. Brought to you by the great people at today's dentistry. Let's go Hoosiers. And how about the lady Hoosiers, the women? They were terrific last night beating NC State. What a fun game to watch. And the I'll tell you, you want to know who you want to go recruit if you're Mike Woodson? You want to go recruit the male version of Allie Patberg. Because what Allie Patberg had to say last night after that game, after Indiana, the birthday girl, Julie, making an appearance. Ah, how wonderful is that? That's uh, unprecedented. Um, she was just awesome in the way she described her feelings emotionally about playing for Indiana University. That's who you got to go get. You got to go get people like that. That's why you recruit from within. That's why you hire from within. Good job, Scott Dolson. Big thumbs up. Let's go.